Right here, we looked at um, using a toy uh, at the start of some scent work, getting people to get their dog to find a toy. How would we progress? How would we use that with a dog who wasn't too interested in a toy, but interested in food, obviously? Get another dog. No, um, <laughs> what we have to do is find something that motivates the dog. So in this case, with Stewie, we know that it's food. Now, Stewie, despite the fact that he has a squashed up little face and what have you, he still has an olfactory system that will be better than ours. And he needs to have an outlet for it. So we can use pieces of food for him to search for. It's a great way of entertaining your dog. So at this stage, I'm just letting Stewie see, and he sees with his nose, that I've got a piece of food for him. Dom's just gonna hold on to him. While I take this piece of food out a short distance, and I put it down on the ground. And then Dom is gonna tell Stewie to find it. Find it, Stewie. And Stewie's nose should take him to that resource. If not, I'll help him at this stage. We don't want him getting bored. We'll go where my finger points. Yes! Good boy, Good Stewie. boy, Stewie! That's clever boy! So Dom takes Stewie back. And what we need to do Stewie, is yeah. repeat this in the same location over a series of times. Come so on. if you can get Stewie over come there, on, come on, come on. again, I'm going to put this piece of food down in the same place, or similar place, and you send him to find it. Find it, Stewie. This time Stewie should be a bit more accurate. Not, we'll help him. Good boy, good boy Stewie. Stewie. He's just eating it there. Uh, <laughs> the there we go, good boy. That's clever. And if we repeat that over and over again, with breaks in between, so four or five goes, rest, four or five goes, rest, Stewie will get the idea and he'll start to associate the signal or command, find it, with getting the piece of food. We can then start to put the piece of food in a slightly different location, so Stewie's got to really use his nose and not just go by memory. And once we've done that, we can really start to move the food around. Now, assuming we don't always want him to look for food, and that's fine if we do for a pet dog, for fun, to amuse him, we can start to teach him to search for other things. He may never develop the desire to pick them up and bring them back. That doesn't matter. We can just start to hide whatever substance, whatever smell we want him to find with the food. And eventually we stop putting the food out there. So he's drawn to where that particular scent or odour is. And then we're going to have to come up and reward him ourselves for finding it. So we're training him through the game but in a fun way. Absolutely. That's, that's it, motivating it, for the dog. Absolutely. It's the only way to train an animal is through fun, through positive reinforcement. And I know <laughs> this becomes a, a, a point where people jump on the bandwagon arguing about it. We're not necessarily talking about stopping a dog from doing something, say, sheep worrying or something, which is a, 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 an entirely different area, although still can be worked on very often in a similar way. We're teaching the dog to do something we want it to do. And we can very easily do that by making it fun. It shouldn't be anything other than fun.